Apollo's Fire Discovery Series. Welcome back to I Love Music. I'm Amanda. And I'm Gabby. In today's episode, we are going to talk about more Baroque musicians, the Baroque singers. A singer uses their voice to sing different notes, just like playing different notes on an instrument. Singers, just like instruments, can have a wide variety of sounds. Some people who sing, sing high notes, and some sing low notes. In Baroque music, some songs are written in English and others are in different languages. Like Barbara Strozzi, the composer, she sang in Italian. Today, we are going to listen and meet some of the singers who work with Apollo's Fire. Amanda, can you tell us more about singing Baroque music? Of course. The big deal about Baroque singing is that it's all about storytelling. The voice expresses the sadness or joy of a song. Singers who sing Baroque music study certain ways of making sounds. Making sure people can hear the words and the feeling of the music is really, really important. Well, why don't we get started learning all about being singers? If we are going to be Baroque singers today, there's something we have to do first to get ready. Oh? What's that, Amanda? Warm up our voice and body to prepare for singing and performing. Oh, like when you're playing a sport, you warm up your body so you don't get hurt. That makes a lot of sense. Amanda, will you lead us in warming up our voices? Let's get started. We have to warm up our bodies as well because they are a part of our instrument. If you can, stand up. Okay, Amanda. I think I'm ready to warm up. All right. Let's try some high notes and some low notes. Follow me. Let's do that again. Let's play a little game. Follow my finger to see if the notes go high or low. <laughs> Let's try doing some sounds on vowels. Let's start with ooh. Let's do this. Ooh. All together. Ooh. Ooh. Keep going. Ooh. Ooh. Let's do another exercise. This one is I love to sing. And it sounds like this. I love to sing. When I sing this one, I like to move my arms like this to help my voice have a nice arc to the sound. Let's try it together. I love to sing. 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 We did it! There are many different voice types, but the four basic we'll learn about today are bass, tenor, alto, sometimes called countertenor, and soprano. Let's start with the low singers. They're called basses. A bass is a man who sings with the lowest type of voice. It's often big and booming. 
Sometimes basses play the part of the bad guy. The second lowest type of voice is called a baritone. Often, they have a lighter and more gentle sound. Let's meet our baritone friend, Jeff. He has sung many concerts with Apollo's Fire. Hi everybody, my name is Jeff, and I am a baritone singer. I've been singing for a very long time, and my first teacher was my mom many years ago. The most important thing she taught me was how to breathe like a singer. She told me the same things that Amanda told you a few minutes ago. Once I learned how to do that, I was able to do fun things like musicals. So in high school, I got on stage and I just fell in love with acting as well as singing. And I still do it. We're going to show you now a fun little clip from a musical that I did with Apollo's Fire a couple of years ago about a man who has a beautiful yellow canary and he also owns a cat. And the cat eats the bird. Oh, it's awful. Alas, 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 my poor canary's dead. Alas, alas, my poor canary is dead. Alas, my poor canary is dead. Where's the cat? Where is he? Do you know? Eat until your stomach is bursting. Eat you glutton the scream. Yes, please choose. Eat until your stomach is bursting. Eat you glutton the scream. Eat you glutton the scream. Wasn't that fun? I really love doing it. So the next thing we're going to show you is a piece by Bach. Bach lived a couple hundred years ago. He's very famous. One of the pieces he wrote was called the Coffee Cantata. Why did he call it the Coffee Cantata? Because it's about a father who has a daughter, a young daughter, who loves to drink coffee, which was against the rules. So the father was not very happy with his daughter and well, let's see what he has to say about it, because he thinks she's misbehaving. You don't ever misbehave, do you? Hands of father with his children not a hundred thousand, hundred thousand cares. Not a hundred thousand cares. Not a hundred thousand cares. As a father with his children, not a hundred thousand cares. child, ungrateful daughter, why will you not do as I say? Give coffee up today. Next up is a tenor. Tenors are men who sing higher notes with a light and bright sound. They often play the love interest la la. or the hero. Let's meet our tenor friend, Brian. He sings, and he also plays many instruments. 
you might recognize him from one of our previous episodes. Hi everyone, I'm Brian, and welcome back to my house of music and art. We've met before because I showed you some of the instruments I play, the lute, guitar, and the orbo. But I'm also a singer, specifically a tenor. I grew up singing folk songs and even sang in some rock bands, but nowadays I find myself singing a lot of early music. That's music from the medieval and renaissance eras, and even some Baroque music. In this next clip, you'll see a video of me singing one of my favorite songs. It's a traditional Irish song called A Health to the Company, and I'm accompanying myself on the lute like many singers of old once did. Hope you enjoy it, and thank you again for visiting. Bye. Here's a health to the company and one to my lass. Let us drink and be merry, all out of one glass. Let us drink and be merry, all grief to refrain. For we may and might never all meet here again. Then we have altos. These are women who sing lower notes and have a rich chocolatey sound to their voice. Sometimes altos sing the part of a witch. <laughs> the alto part can also be sung by men, and these men are often called countertenors. This is Amanda. No, not this Amanda. She is one of the altos who sings with Apollo's fire. She will sing a joyful song called, O Thou That Tellest. As we mentioned, a man who sings in the alto range is called a countertenor. Our friend Reggie sings countertenor all over the world. Here he is singing a song in French by a composer we met in episode two. Remember Joseph Boulogne? voice part is called soprano. Sopranos sing with a sparkly light sound. Sometimes they sing the part of princesses. We are going to hear from two Apollo's Fire Sopranos. One is Ashley, and you actually already met the other soprano. Do you know who it is? It's our very own Amanda! Surprise! Awesome. Well, let's listen to Amanda and Ashley, our sopranos, sing together in this next song. Oh, 
just sound so beautiful together. Just like the instruments, there are so many different and beautiful singers in Baroque music. If you have a group of 10 or more singers together, we call that a choir. Apollo's Fire has two choirs, one choir of kids and one choir of adults. Let's hear the kids' choir. They're singing in solfege. This means that instead of singing the words, they sing sounds like do, re, mi, and fa. This helps them learn their notes. So let's hear the Apollo's Fire Youth Choir, the Musettes, sing Star in the East. Gabby, I actually have someone from the Musettes that I'd like to introduce to you and our friends. Really? Who is it? Meet Michael Temesey, a student singer. He began singing at age five, and now he's in high school. Hi, Michael. <laughs> when Michael was in the Musettes, he was a boy soprano and sang really high notes. Growing up, your voice changes, and for Michael, now his voice is able to reach lower notes. He is now called a bass. Welcome, Michael. We're going to ask Michael some questions from our music students so we can get to know him and see what it's like being a student singer. Okay, Michael, our first question is, do you take voice lessons? I do take voice lessons. I, in fact, take voice lessons with... <laughs> Amanda. That's right. In voice lessons, we explore the full range of your voice, from your bass notes to your falsetto notes. And Michael, can you tell our friends what it's like getting ready to perform with Apollo's Fire? Performing with Apollo's Fire is always so exciting. I love getting to see all the different instruments and all the different musicians that are there. It's a lot of fun. Do you ever get nervous? Sometimes I do get nervous performing with Apollo's Fire, but that's totally okay. Being nervous is just your body's way of preparing you for the challenging task ahead. Wow, Michael. Sounds like you're becoming a professional Baroque singer. Michael, could you sing a little something for us? Sure. I'll go with a piece by Bach. Qui fecit miki mania. Qui affecit me qui mania, qui potens, qui potens est. How cool is that? Michael, thank you for sharing a day in the life of a singer and performer, and for singing for us today. Let's review the different types of singers we met today. Bass, tenor, alto or countertenor, soprano. Now let's learn about one more kind of song. A ballad is a song that tells a story. The story might be about people, or it might be about animals. Here's Amanda, our soprano, singing a fun ballad about a fox. Well, the fox went out on a chilly night. He prayed for the moon to give him light. Many a mile to go that night before we reach the town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. Many a mile to go that night before we reach the town, oh. He ran till he came to the farmer's pen. The ducks and the geese were kept there and he said, A couple of you were going to grease my chin before I leave this town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. Ooh, a couple of you were going to grease my
much fun. I love seeing and hearing how Baroque singing can express so many different emotions. Me too! I love music and I love learning. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.